In Fast and Furious 6, when Hobbs handed the file to Dom, he explained that Lay is alive, so afterwards Dom said to Hobbs, I'm going to need everything, all the information you got. And then Hobbs said, you'll get it when the team gets it. And then Dom said, no team, this is going to have to be me alone. Hobbs said, it's not that simple. The crew were after, they hit like thunder and disappear like smoke. You go in alone, you won't ever touch them. Then after that, Dom um, met up with Brian and Mia. So Brian said to Dom, so what's up with you? What's going on? And then Dom handed the file to Brian saying, taken a week ago. Brian sent diplomatic security service Hobbs and then he saw the photo of Lay explained to Dom you know I used to do this shit all the time as a cop this is exactly what cops do he's messing with your head Lay's dead Dom Dom said I need to know for sure Brian said then I'm going with you Dom said you said you were going to leave this life behind Brian said we both said that we are leaving this life behind Mia said He's right, we're family. If we got a problem, we deal with it together. And I'll feel safer knowing you're both out there watching each other's backs. You're stronger together. You always were. Now go get laid. So there's a couple of lessons. The first one is, you know, when Hobbs said the crew were off there, they hit like thunder and disappear like smoke. You're going alone, you won't ever touch them. Sometimes when you're going alone, even if it's a life or death situation or if it's just a general normal civilian everyday life situation sometimes going alone you can handle things even with people with big reputations however likely you can you know um sometimes you can so don't you know rule that possibility out but if you can't fine get a team like dom does so hobbs is right in that case dom couldn't do it alone but sometimes you can do some things alone even if it's life or death situation you just got to be really good that's all the second lesson is you know what mia said about you know, um, working together as a family, watching each other's backs. Now, again, it could be a life or death situation where you're working with someone, that person has a child, and then the thing is, she could be very skilled or he could be very skilled. And, you know, that's a life or death situation where, you know, most parents wouldn't, you know, no matter, you know, um, how much of a soldier they are, you know, most parents wouldn't want their child, you know, working with them on the battlefield but the thing is if they're capable they want to serve then you're actually strong at getting if you choose not to let anxiety control you and that's why i always gone about learning meditation letting people take the risk and if they die you can be stronger from that pain and get more drive you know yes you're stronger to get with your life but i believe if you lose people sometimes you become even stronger because that drives you to you know carry out your mission so you know if not a life or death situation and you know an everyday life situation where normal civilians face you know the thing is families should have each other's backs but the thing is in the most cases in my opinion they don't you know um you know you're stronger together but that means also you know speaking up for one another when you know um so- someone's having an argument you know maybe a kid and a parent and then the thing is you know, yes, you leave it them to it, but if they're not handling it, you intervene sometimes and back up that person, you know, when you should. That's how you're stronger together, like Dom and Brian are. You know, um, you have each other's backs. I'm not saying always interfere, I'm just saying that's one aspect. You know, another aspect is, you know, um, relationships. And relationship doesn't have to end just because the family, you know, um, has a bad background. A family sticks together and overcomes that family. You know, if the family are gangsters, you call the police then and let them two to be together instead of, you know, being pussies about it. And, you know, just saying you can't be together. I know it's scary, but the truth is, in most cases, that doesn't happen. But in some cases, um, people are extreme. You know, in some in in some cultures, if not all cultures, where they say the family ain't decent or whatever, you just don't get along and end the relationship. 